Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and in this video we're going to be creating photorealistic videos using Kling AI. So Kling AI is a text to video, text to image, and image to video creator. You can use it to create some very realistic looking videos if you start with an actual real life image. So to get things started, we are here on the dashboard. As you can see, if you click on this AI video, it'll take you to the video platform. Now it is pretty simple. You can put your text prompt there. You got different settings like your creativity versus relevance, which controls just how much freedom you give the AI. You got your standard mode and you got your professional mode. I believe you need to be upgraded in order to use professional mode. And then they got five second video, 10 second videos and aspect ratio. One of the things that's unique to Kling AI is the camera movement. So you can actually choose uh, what kind of camera movement you want. And if you choose one of them, like we'll take a look at this pan, you can actually see what second it's going to, uh, what the camera is going to do at each second. And so it gives you a full preview of what the video is going to come out as. We'll take a look at the roll and you can see it roll in the different, uh, different directions. And so it's a really great way to get whatever kind of camera angle that you want. Now this is only for the text to video. This does not work for image to video. And then finally you have your negative prompts. So here is some videos that was created through text. I actually, for a lot of these, I just kind of copied text from other videos that was created by the community and then recreated those videos. And you can see the text to video, it does look really good, but some of the videos do have that kind of like dreamy, glossy AI look to them. But the actual, uh, the actual subject and the video does look good. Like the animation looks really good. It's just the overall filter on the video looks a little weird. But when you use the image to video, that's when you get some really nice, realistic looking things. And so in the image to video tab, all you gotta do is just click here to upload any kind of image. And you can see, uh, this is some images that I did for my other YouTube channel, but, um, I can just upload any image and I've noticed that images of animals do really well. And then once you've done that, you can put in your prompt here if you want to, but really you don't need to put in a prompt. You can actually do the same settings and as you can see the actual camera movement is disabled for image to video and then you put in your negative prompt and generate the video so it looks like uh 10 credits is for a five second video 20 credits is for a 10 second video and i'm just going to show you the results of some of these that i've done as you can see, it looks very, very realistic. I've sent these videos to some friends of mine, asking them if they can tell if they're real or not, and they all thought it was real. They didn't think it was AI generated at all. So the there are some subtle, some subtle things, like for example, none of the cats actually blink in these videos, and their movements are very subtle, except for the one with the orange cat, the last one but it does still look really really good and i do have one of a dog swimming as well and that looks really good that was one that i actually copied from the community but it's a really good looking video so you can create some incredible incredible videos using Kling ai just by uploading um just pretty much any normal photo and it will animate that photo for you so that was pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create these realistic videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.